Hyperconverge really allows you to deploy in an in incredible, timely manner. Uh, many of the vendors have simple three-click setups that will allow you to have an entire network in a box, uh, compute in a box, uh, an office in a box uh, at really the, you know, the click of a mouse. One of the major benefits I see for Hyperconverged is deploying equipment uh, on a site where IT staff might not be present. Uh, standing it up and having remote connectivity, being able to manage that entire environment through a single pane of glass really simplifies the management for the staff that exists elsewhere. A few major use cases for Hyperconverged is growing at scale, which allows you to add an additional box on without developing an entire uh, IT infrastructure, plugging a new box in, uh, adding it to your existing Hyperconverged, and that equipment is ready to go, ready to use, whether it's for a virtual desktop environment, uh, web servers, or any other application that needs to really grow on demand. Common misconceptions with hyperconverged infrastructure is that it locks you into a single solution. It is a great scalable solution for many IT problems, but people generally don't understand that it doesn't have to exist in a silo. This can communicate and be wrapped into your existing IT infrastructure to allow you to grow at scale where you need to and stay the same where you need that kind of solidarity.